I'm Allie. Tutorial 4 is just a continuation of Tutorial 3, except this time we're going to make a simple outfit for the lower. Okay, now we're going to select the lower, and once again we're going to launch, which opens up the template. And we're going to create the two new layers as before. One will fill with black, and one will fill with white. And remember that white is uh, 255, 255, 255, and black is 000. I emphasize this because I didn't realize this in the beginning, and my opacities weren't always right because I didn't have a pure white and a pure black. Okay, once again, I'll use the lasso tool. And in this case, I'm just going to cut out the whole pant, rather than doing half at a time. Because I'm not making shorts or anything, I'm cutting out the entire pant. I don't really need an opacity map for this, I could just do a diffuse. But I want a shape to guide my texturing on as well, so I'll go ahead and cut it out. Once again, we go to the white layer and it's Control C, Control V for copy and paste. And then we'll go back to the template and this time we'll cut out the back of the pan. And again, just stay outside of the bleed lines. and control C, control V on the white layer. Then we make the black visible and we have an opacity layer. And I'll save it, even though we don't really need it. We'll just call it lower opacity. We're saving it as a layered file as, uh, first, and then we'll save it as a JPEG. I just think it's wise to save often. So now we'll apply that opacity to Dylan Lower, which is the casual cloth. But it's not going to make any difference because we made the whole layer opaque. Now I'm relabeling opacity front, opacity back. Okay, so once again we'll use the magic wand and we're going to fill it with a pattern. Uh, I picked out a denim earlier and we'll just reduce the size of it. in the back with the same pattern and I'll adjust the size to match up to the front. And then I'll save it. Now I'm going to add that new layer and the background color that's similar to the pants. And I'll save that again. I forgot to do that. OK, 
Okay, so now back in iClone, we can apply that lower diffuse. Now Dylan has the pants to wear. Now we'll, we'll just put a casual shoe on him too because the shoe is uh, cutting through the pant just to show you what it looks like. And then in a future tutorial we'll learn about bump maps and, and uh, more detail on the texturing. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.